are now in Hall 27. The purpose of our visit here is to come to the SIP stand. SIP is a civilian company that first made its debut in the UK back in 2018. Now they've got a very interesting new mower on, on display here and Michael Mikliak is going to tell us all about it. So this is uh, Disc HD 1000. It's uh, the mower combination that uh, allows up to 10.2 meter of uh, mowing width. Uh, it features several, uh, let's say, safety features uh, dedicated to, to minimize the downtime of the machines because the machines is meant to, let's say, high outputs for professional users, for contractors. So you say up to 10 points, that means it's variable width, is Yes, it? it's variable width. It goes from 9.2 meters up to 10.2 meters. Right, that's good. That's, that's the first thing. I also see it's equipped with merging belts, so puts everything. That's rather so, good. So, yeah, it's equipped with, um, uh, with conveyor belts and together with uh, finger steel, steel finger conditioner. I was going to come to that. So it's also, because it's a mower conditioner, uh -huh, yeah. you've, got, you've gone with steel fingers. Can you get nylon? Uh, not, not that model. You can get nylon uh, fingers as well, but on the let's say lower grade of the machine. For the uh, professional user, we only use the steel finger conditioner. Right. So in terms of, let's you say we were talking. I heard you mention just now we've got safety features, as in like protection features. Protection so, so, features. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, the, let's start with the protection features. What are they? So first and uh, let's say most important is uh, the disc drive safety system integrated in each disc on the cutter bar. Right. So it features uh, let's say double flange connected together with uh, sharp pins, and in case of collision with an obstacle in the field, yeah. uh, you you only break these pins and uh, no other damage is made on the gears inside the cutter bar or on the discs neighboring disc disc always stays on the cutter bar, it will not fall down, it will not collide with the others and the procedure to replace uh, this pins uh, takes about 10 to 15 minutes. So, so it's, a, it's, it's essentially a shear bolt, each disc is shear bolt protected? Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, let's say next level of protection uh, is on the frame. Uh, it's a hydro, hy hydraulic uh, collision safety system and when hitting the obstacle, a uh, bigger stone or something in the field, it will uh, react and open the cutter bar. It will go backwards and upwards. So, so it's just your breakaway protection. You hit something. Exactly. It, bolt, it rolls out like that. And uh, it, does it, it automatically It will returns. automatically turn, return to the, to the working position. So the cylinder will uh, lock the cutter bar back into the working position. Now, do you have to set the breakaway system up? When you when you put the mower on, does it, or is it just uh, the system is uh, let's say always active. You only have to set up the hydropneumatic suspension in yeah. the cutter bars, yeah, yeah. so that you set uh, how light the cutter bars are gliding uh, over the over the surface. Right, awesome. Now, before we went on camera, we were talking about some another feature this particular machine has. You said something about it. it's got speed monitors for the drive shafts. To exactly. Over how does that work? So this is Overload Monitoring System, or OMS. Um, it, it works in this way that we have four points on the drive line on the each side uh, connected, uh, connected with the sensors. Right. And uh, the, the, this system will, uh, will, will alert the driver in a case you drop the, the RPMs or there is a slipping on the drive line for the, for the conditioner. So it will not uh, prevent the damage, but will alert the driver to react and to, let's say, stop with the work and to check if there's some obstacle or some uh, fault on the drive line. So how slow does it go? How, how much of a speed drop must there be before it recognizes it? Uh, so it's uh, about uh, 10 to 20 percent uh, right. reduction of the speed, yeah. And so you, uh, you say it alerts the driver, and I'm assuming that we've got a control box in the cab with, the, with this one. Is this, this is an isobus machine, I'm assuming, yeah? Yes, this is an isobus machine, so uh, it's available with uh, either isobus or also with the simple uh, 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 Control, electronic control Electro box. Control, uh, control, control box, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we're chucking you into the deep end here, and you've got his poor chap's got a really <laughs> sore throat. <laughs> we're putting him in all these challenging questions. The, let's talk a little bit about the, about the front mower around yep. here. Now, the front mower has got its own hydraulic suspension system as well, doesn't it? And we know from testing that actually the suspension system works extremely well on these mowers. Tell us a little about how, that's, how that works. 
So this system is called a slow system and allows uh, to, for, for Catabar to travel of, uh, half a meter uh, in vertical position uh, and it's equipped with uh, hydropneumatic suspension uh, whereas the cylinder is, uh, suspension cylinder is completely closed and uh, let's say from the tractor and inside uh, there's one deciliter of oil running uh, and it means it's really fast re uh, fast reacting and quick so it's, to the it's, changes it's in the field. It's actually a closed system in time in respect of it's not relying on the tractor. Exactly. So it, and that's why it reacts so quickly. Exactly. Uh, there's only a low volume of oil, it's not being moved backwards and forwards. Exactly, the so the, the oil doesn't have to travel back to the tractor and back to the system and with this you can really achieve uh, really good supreme performance uh, on the bumpy grounds uh, without any, let's say, um, delays in the, in, the, in the vertical travel of the, of the cutter bar. Right, so you said to us that this, this is aimed, obviously 10.2, that's a big mower. What's the sort of horsepower requirement you, you need for a machine like this? So for, the, for this combination, you, you need uh, roughly 250 horsepower. Right. Um, and a tractor with uh, 40 liters uh, flow as the conveyor belts are driven from the tractor hydraulics. Right, okay, so you've got, to, you've got to have a fairly substantial rig on it and probably a few more horsepower if you're going up a lot of hills with it. Yes. Because what does it weigh? I mean, it must weigh a fair bit. Uh, so the weight of the machine is uh, roughly four tons. Right, so it's, it's, not, it's, it's well within the limits of tractors of that size. Um, in terms of availability, is it in production now? Is it, can it be ordered now? What's the round what's the one? So that? the machine is uh, currently in production. Uh, we launched it uh, in this season and it will be fully available in 2024. Really? So it's, it, it, it's, it's out there? available now for people to order it's already yeah. available uh, for orders yeah and let's say to for to, to it's the right time to schedule demos for the next season yeah right, so we will there will be demo units available in the uk in the uk as well yeah so we'll bring the machine also to to lama show in january right. so it will be let's say also one machine dedicated for uk market for demonstrations and for promotion yeah. so we, we you you heard that here so that this will be available we've mentioned lama several occasions throughout the agrotechnica so this will be uh, available to see at lama which is interesting um well built very heavy duty machines we we tested a, um, a ship mower about two and a half years ago and we were really impressed with it weren't we james <laughs> right any idea on cost at this time or are we just not go in there so let's say in euros, uh, at the moment it costs roughly 85,000 euros, right, right. but you know, the price may vary, uh, depends on the different configurations, the different equipment and so on and so on, but uh, 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 80, uh, 85,000 euros is, uh, let's say, one uh, configuration like this. Yeah. Uh, you know, that, that, that's just a fair price, and, and, and actually, you, I'm surprised you quoted price because some people just won't quote price, okay. <laughs> it goes up and down so much. I just want to say to you, thank you so much for having us here this afternoon and just having a little look and getting a little bit of insight of what's new. Thank, Thank you. you. And uh, we look forward to seeing you at Lama. Yeah, I'll be there as well. Yeah. Yeah, awesome.